Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The problem successful pairs of spells and potions is a common algorithmic challenge on platforms like LeetCode. The goal is to determine how many pairs of spells and potions can produce a success based on a given threshold. Problem Statement You are given two lists, spells and potions, where each element represents the effectiveness of a spell or potion. You also have an integer success which is the required effectiveness threshold. The task is to determine how many pairs of spell, potion, will yield a product that is greater than or equal to success. Steps to approach the problem. 1. Understand the input and output. Input, two lists of integers spells and potions, and an integer success. Output, a list of integers where each integer corresponds to the number of potions that can be paired with the spell at the same index in spells to achieve the required effectiveness. 2. Brute Force Approach For each spell, iterate through each potion and count how many potions satisfy the condition, spell asterisk potion equals success. This approach is simple but can be inefficient for large inputs since it has a time complexity of O, n asterisk m, where n is the length of spells and m is the length of potions. 3. Optimized approach. To improve efficiency, you can sort the potions list and use binary search to quickly find the required number of potions for each spell. For each spell, calculate the minimum potion required to meet the success condition and use bisect underscore left from the bisect module to find the index of the first potion that meets this requirement code example let's implement the optimized approach in python explanation of the code one we import bisect underscore left from the bisect module which helps in finding the index at which a given value should be inserted to maintain sorted order 2. We sort the potions list to facilitate efficient searching. 3. For each spell, we compute the minimum potion required to meet the success criteria using the formula, success plus spell, 1, slash slash spell. This effectively computes the ceiling of success slash spell. 4. We use bisect underscore left to find the index of the first potion that is greater than or equal to this minimum value. 5. The count of successful potions is simply the difference between the total number of potions and the index found. 6. Finally, we return the list of successful pairs counts. Complexity Analysis Time Complexity, O, M log M plus N log M, where M is the number of potions, for sorting, and N is the number of spells, for searching. Space Complexity, O, 1, if we ignore the space used by the output list. This solution is efficient and works well even for larger inputs, making it a good choice for this problem.